You never know who you're going to run into here at Super Zoo. I can't believe it. What a coincidence. It's Ed Begley and Doug Poindexter, the head of the WWPIA. They're the organizers of Super Zoo. How you doing, Doug? We're doing great. We're having a great show. And how you doing, Ed? Couldn't be better. It's always great to see you. Um, tell me a little bit more about, uh, first of all, why you're here, Ed. I'm here with my friend Richard Mayer. We got the Kitty Commode, a lot of other wonderful products. And this is the real, really, this is the star product of everything that he has. It's his Kitty Commode. A cat can come in here, and uh, cats are afraid of the noise. They're afraid. They get spooked by the noise and vibration of it, you know, of this uh, ozone treatment and the UV treatment that's uh, occurring. So they, it'd be nice to have this clean, odor-free cat box, which you have, but they wouldn't use it. The way it works is it's got a sensor. As soon as you get close to it, you can't see that from that angle, but trust me, it just shut down. The lights just went off. As soon as the pet comes near it, it shuts down. Ten seconds later, it will come back on. So you get to have an odor-free cat box and uh, something that the cats will, in fact, use. That's great. So it, and when the cat isn't there, there's an ozone generator. It purifies it so it, you don't have that smell of the, right. the cat box smell. Something my wife has been angling for for a while. She has a better sniffer than me, and she's constantly complaining about the odor of the kitty litter box. We change it quite regularly. You know, we filter it and change it and do everything uh, regular maintenance, but it's not enough for her. So this is going to be life-changing. This is going to save my marriage. I know. Well, Rochelle usually doesn't have to angle very hard. She says she wants something. You, I think you deliver. I'm a smart man, too. You are a smart guy. So, Doug, how's the show going? It's going great. And, and this is a perfect example of the entrepreneurial spirit of this industry. I mean, these people come up with these ideas that can help their own pet, and then they expand to the neighbors and to the friends, and all of a sudden they get themselves a new business. It's absolutely wonderful. It's so much fun to be in the industry right now. Oh, it is. This is day three of this incredible event, Super Zoo. If you didn't make it this year, uh, I'm, I'm sorry to tell you, you missed a great time. Amazing pet products, amazing pet loving people. And uh, you're going to do this again next year, is that right? Yeah, September 9 to 11, we've got uh, this year over 600 exhibitors and over 1,000 booths, and we expect to grow it a little bit next year, and uh, looking for a lot of fun next year. That's great. So if you love pets, or hey, if you have a great pet product of your own, you've got to uh, check out the WWPIA. What does that exactly stand for? Worldwide Pet Industry Association. We're a nonprofit association that promotes responsible pet ownership. Right. With nothing better than responsible pet ownership. You've got to take care of your pets responsibly. You've got to take care of the planet responsibly. If something's alive, it should probably be taken care of. Isn't that right? I say so, and I'm just so impressed with this wonderful expo. How many years have you been doing this now? This is our 47th, our 57th annual show. Wow. That's a long time. But you... There are parrots that live that long, but... Uh... But uh, I, I've barely uh, been alive that long. Oh, yeah. I just turned 58. Well, I, I, me too. All right. <laughs> uh, me too. Happy birthday, oh, guys. You're not 50. You're not 38. <laughs> well, uh, it's a great show. Ed, Doug, it's great to see you guys. It's great to see you guys out there. Um, check out next year's Super Zoo if you didn't make it here this year. And uh, we'll see you next time right here on the Home Shopping Pet Work.